Friends of Hearn Mill are a registered charity and uh, we manage the mill on behalf of Kent County Council. Hearn Mill was built in 1789 for the Lawrence family. Job Lawrence was the first miller and uh, the Lawrence family were here for quite a while. And while they were here, the original mill was just uh, the timber structure that you can see now, but uh, they decided that there wasn't enough wind getting to the mill, so they lifted the whole mill up in 1856 and built two storeys of um, brickwork underneath. In 1879 the Wooden family bought the mill and uh, they took over as millers and they carried on uh, with the mill until it was eventually closed down in the 1950s. We do regular maintenance on the mill and uh, also open the mill for visitors and the way the mill works is from the top down. So grain comes in from the fields to the mill, is taken up to the top of the mill and by gravity feeds down, coming down from the bin floor below the cap and down through to the stone floor where the power from the wind turns the stones, then the flowers ground and would filter down to the floor below where the miller could check it and then once he got that sorted it went to the floor below for bagging up the miller's lad would have been down on the meal floor bagging up all the flour. So he would have spent most of his time there bagging the flour and then um, running upstairs to the top to pour more grain in when needed. So he would have been up and down the uh, ladders all day long. Once the flour has been bagged up, uh, the baker or whoever wanted to buy the flour could come up to the mill and it would have been taken out through the loading door and dropped down into a cart to go off down to the bakery. We're open on Sundays from Easter till the end of um, September, also Thursdays in August and we hold regular work parties throughout the year. Uh, we're also open specially for National Mills Weekend. It's an event for all mills to uh, show what milling was involved and uh, how important mills are for our landscape and our cultural history.